this time we will start chapter 9 which is the deflection of beams so at the beginning we will know or we will learn how to calculate the deflection of a beam uh, using uh, double integration so um, you can see that i listed here different methods double integration moment area singularity conjugate beam there are different methods the reason is um, every method has some advantage and some disadvantage but uh, double integration is the basic method this method will let you understand how we calculate the um, deflection of a beam now what is the ad disadvantage of this method that if uh, if the moment curve is different at different point of a uh, beam then it will be uh, it will be a problem uh, okay we will discuss that at the beginning let us see how double integration means or deflection by integration Mm, means so let us uh, assume a simply supported beam with two supports in support roller support and uniformly distributed load uh, i i selected this beam the reason is this is the most commonly or mostly used beam in our uh, civil engineering uh, um, life and uh, this is the simplest beam also so say in this beam my uniformly distributed load is w my span is l and my deflection curve is this is my deflection curve i represent it by y uh, x is any distance from me as i am going as my x is increasing from this support my deflection is decreasing decreasing means it is going down you can tell it increasing um, whatever it, it is good so my y is changing with x x reaches the peak maximum here again it starts decreasing um, now the my for this beam it is symmetric beam load is symmetric uh, geometry is symmetric so the maximum will be at the middle l by 2 so we also know that the deflection at a and b are zero deflection here and here is zero because it is support it will restrain the deflection so these are known and we need to know something to find something else so some parameters should be known so here we know actually three parameters deflection here is zero deflection here is zero and the deflection here is the max these three uh, parameters we know it although we may not need all so we need to know some okay let us see how to find the deflection so before finding deflection uh, say at any dis distance x we need to find our moment we need to find our moment if we can't somewhere at x distance my and i assume my moment that way uh, now why do we need to find moment because deflection is dependent on the moment so if we cut here and apply summation of uh, moment at x that means here is zero Mm, say clockwise positive so my first force wl by 2 he, oh, i did not tell anything about wl by 2 it is the support reaction we know that for a simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load my support reaction is wl by 2 why because w is uniformly distributed load times l is my total load then divided by 2 50 percent this side 50 percent other side of the beam so my first load is wl by 2 times x the times x and it will go clockwise about this point so it is positive next force is w uniformly distributed load times x so total load is wx and it will act at the middle so x by 2 that is that x by 2 minus my moment because this moment is going counterclockwise so it is minus so then it is zero and you saw this kind of calculation using numerical values many times then after solving we found our aim is this so we found our moment uh, equation now something how moment is related to deflection that equation is something we can derive from calculus uh, this is that equation i am not going here in detail because it takes a huge time because it is a long derivation so for now we will memorize or we will use this this equation again make sure that you you saw this equation uh, this equation uh, how do, 
Now, very brief about this equation, how can we find this equation? It is simply sigma equals mc over i, that equation. Also, we use sigma equals e times absolute, which is stress is modulus and is, um, uh, strain and the curvature equation. So using this all three equation, we can derive this final equation. Now we will use it. So for whatever the beam is, E, e means modulus of elasticity, I means moment of inertia, Y means your deflection. So the second derivative of deflection with respect to X times your EI, which is the stiffness equals the moment. That is our equation. So you know what is E modulus of elasticity. I is the moment of inertia, which that Y is the deflection. X is any distance from and the reference point, which is our moment. So then we can insert the equation of moment, whatever we found, it is here. Now this equation will change with depending on your load. So we are deriving the deflection equation for uniformly distributed load. So this is our moment equation. For different kind of loading, this equation will change. That is the uh, variable parameter here. So we inserted here. Then if we do the integration both side, if we do integration both side, both side, it will be like this. So integration sign, integration sign with respect to dx, with respect to dx. If I do integration this side, my this differentiation will be a single time because integration and differentiation they are enemy they kill each other one integration will kill one differentiation so dy by dx so in this side uh, my x it has power one nothing means one so power will increase by one divided by the increased power minus w by 2 w by 2 here my power will increase by one so 3 divided by that increased power plus i will get a constant Okay, I will do one more integration. If I do one more integration, that means again integration sign, again integration sign both sides and dx, dx. Uh, this what will happen this time? Uh, so this will happen my, uh, this time my differentiation will go. I will simply get my y. So that is that y. In this side, my power is 2, it will be 3, so it become 3, divide by that increased power. So 2 to uh, this 3 came from after integration. Here x to the power 4, 3, it will be 4 and divide by that increased power. Plus C1, if there is a constant, we know that after integration, this constant gets a x. Why? Because we can assume there is a x here, power is 0. So that power become 1 divided by 1. Uh, so that um, integration theory we discussed earlier uh, at this time I am assuming that you know some of the integration rule then plus another constant will get it so this is our a general equation we have to find uh, the value of c1 and c2 because these are two unknowns two unknowns how to find it to find some unknown we need to know something that what we know we know at the beginning we discuss when this but deflection is zero at x is zero that means at the beginning if you go or oh, i will go there before that uh, second one uh, deflection is zero at x is l how we got it if you go back to the beam so here deflection is zero that means when x is zero deflection is zero when x is l deflection is zero so this two parameter is known we also know that deflection is maximum at the middle but we do not need to use theory condition because my unknown is only two. So as two unknown, I need to use two. So if I use the first condition and insert it in this equation, what is that? Y is zero, Y will be zero and X is zero. So insert X zero and Y zero, what we will get? We will get uh, is C2 is zero. So we got one parameters or one unknown C2 is zero. Now we will use the other condition y is 0 at x is l. So we will insert the value of x as l and y is 0. So y is 0, x is l. Uh, and after solving, we found c1 is w l to the power q l to the power 3 over 24. So we I know my c2, I know my c1, c1, c1 insert this in in the uh, in the equation, this equation, equation number 2. So if we insert it then we will get the 
uh, equation as like this uh, shifting EI on the right side. This is the deflection equation of this beam. So now whatever your location is, if I say what is the deflection after 3 feet from the left, just insert the value x uh, 3 feet. Now if your E is KSI, I is inch to the power 4, then x should be inch. So make sure your units are consistent. And now uh, we know that our deflection is um, maximum at the middle. So if we insert x is L by 2, you can find the y max. So this way you can find the deflection. Something else like if I use the first equation, which is the slope equation, this equation, equation number 1. What is this? If I insert, if I shift E i on the right side, I'll get d y by d x. What is d y by d x? It is the slope slope at any point so if i need to find the slope at any point of the deflection we can find it using this equation where we got got it if i go back it is uh, not this equation the first equation we got after derivation and we know the value of c1 so this equation and that will give me the slope now some specific value we can find it how if x is l by 2 y is max why because it is a symmetric beam we discussed at the beginning so if we insert x by 2 in our deflection equation this is our deflection equation we'll get the maximum deflection now slope we know slope is maximum at the support because the geometry is telling us so if we insert the value x we'll in this equation we'll find the maximum deflection but mainly we are concerned about the max sorry maximum slope here uh, but we are concerned mainly about the um, deflection or maximum deflection. So this equation we use it during uh, designing a beam. So I advise you to memorize this equation or at least be familiar with this equation because we will use this equation when we will do reinforced concrete, de re reinforced concrete, uh, beam design, steel beam design, we will use this e e equation. And something else also that the deflection equation is also known as equation of the elastic curve elastic curve uh, and this equation represent the deflection y at any point from the beam from the left support or the reference point okay so hopefully you you understood uh, how to design uh, how to de determine the deflection of a beam uh, now the deflection of a beam depends on the type of loading for different kinds of loading the deflection equation uh, deflection equation that means this equation is different so this equation is only valid for uniformly distributed load and let me discuss some of the disadvantage or uh, suitability of uh, um, of this method so if our deflection equation say so if this is a sorry uh, say if this is our beam if our moment diagram is a single curve say our moment diagram it is a for, sorry i mean this uh, again again sorry uh, say my uh, moment equation is a single curve like this if it is a single curve moment if my moment equation, equation is a single curve then this method is is valid if my moment equation says like this uh, something sometimes linear then it is becoming say uh, this then a straight line if this is my moment e equation that means one line another line if this is the case then integration method is difficult that means i have to do integration here up to this another integration here it becomes complex in that case we need another method so again integration method is good if my deflection uh, sorry if my moment is a single curve for example another equation is uh, for a uh, cantilever beam which is fixed which is fixed fixed uh, at the beginning and this cantilever for this uh, for this beam my moment equation is a single curve is this sorry is a straight line like this yes a straight line like this so this is my moment equation for this beam so this is so uh, integration method is also good for this 
um, good for this method. So here what I did, I tried to explain when integration method is good for finding deflection, when it is not. So we will keep on uh, now. Something else is that uh, we will not learn to derive the deflection equation for everything or every kind of load, every kind of every kind of loading. We will use our book. Our book gave us a deflection equation for different kinds of mean. For example, it is a concentrated load at the middle. For this, what is the deflection uh, max deflection? It is this the max deflection. What is the equation of the elastic curve or deflection equation? This equation. Similarly, uh, uh, other beam is here. So in this way, there are different kinds of beam. Their deflection, deflection equation, maximum deflection are uh, known. Uh, see, there are different kinds of beam. Their maximum deflection are given uh, here. Uh, also something else to know is superposition principle superposition principle means what say if I open that um, say one beam has one load here another load here so this is my beam now what is superposition say if you determine deflection for this load first at a point say here and then find deflection for this load separately and then add it it is okay as long as our beam is within linear elastic region so we all the equations are derived based on a linear elastic assumption again to find you for this load find deflection here discarding this then in another calculation discarding this determine deflection here for this load then you can add together that is called uh, superposition principle that is valid uh, okay. okay so we discuss the theory of deflection in our next video we will see some example uh, thank you